Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here, and we're continuing our thyroid series titled Most Commonly Asked Questions About Hypothyroidism. And today's question is from Christine out from California. And she says to me, Dr. Hagmeyer, I think I have Hashimoto's. I've suffered for so many years with weight gain and then weight loss, uh, terrible skin, brain fog, anxiety, chronic pain, IBS, and the list goes on. Why won't my doctor run a complete thyroid panel, including the tests for autoimmune thyroid disease? like the ones you mentioned on your website. Well, unfortunately, a diagnosis of Hashimoto's disease does not change how hypothyroidism is treated in the standard healthcare model. And this is just a huge disservice to men and women who, who, who live with their lives being turned upside down by this disease. You know, most doctors don't really care about anything other than TSH and a free T4 and then wonder why their patients still feel lousy every time they come in for their visit. You know, it's the standard mentality. It's a standard of care that's really been accepted, and, th and that's unfortunate. You know, unless you work with a doctor who practices functional medicine, uh, you'll never really receive the proper treatment to getting to that root cause. You know, running a, running a full thyroid panel is simply the starting point, okay? But it's an important point because there are many patterns uh, where a person who has thyroid disease uh, ultimately can be, can be told that their, their tests are normal. Um, so, for example, many, many people uh, will have a normal thyroid test or I should say have a normal thyroid test, have lots and lots of symptoms that are suggestive of hypothyroidism, and yet their doctor says, yeah, everything is fine, okay? Well, this is why the importance of testing really comes into the scope here, okay? These patterns that we're talking about can really only be detected if a full thyroid panel is done, okay? So one of the most common patterns that I see in practice, for example, is this low T3 pattern, uh, what we call thyroid underconversion. And this is where a person's T4 levels are, are usually normal, um, but what happens is if you were to measure a T3 levels, you're going to see that these T3, T3 levels are, are actually low. And this is a problem, and this can be caused by a many, many, many no number of things. It could be inflammation, it could be infection, it could be due to high cortisol levels, which are stress hormones. It could be low levels of selenium or low levels of zinc. It could be low levels of vitamin D. M other vitamins could be a, a part of that. Um, and so, again, that's a pattern that if a full thyroid panel was not performed, it's very easy to miss. Okay? Even if you go to an endocrinologist, by the way. Now, another pattern that we see uh, in our office, and, and probably doctors around the world can, can probably testify this too, is something called hypothyroidism secondary to pituitary hypofunction. That, that's a, a big mouthful right there. But what's happening here is that the area of the brain that makes TSH is not making enough of it. Okay? And so what happens is the signal, uh, which, uh, the signal of, which is TSH, uh, is not signaling the thyroid to make enough of this hormone, T3 and T4. And so these are the people that are told that their TSH levels are normal, but they still feel terrible. These are the people who have low TSH levels, but they're not as low as, say, a person with, say, hyperthyroidism might have. So you might see somebody with uh, a TSH of, let's say, 0.5 something or 0.67 uh, or 0.7, you know, uh, 0.78. So these are low TSH levels, but they're not as low, like 0, .00 in the case of people with hyperthyroidism, okay? Um, so the point I want to make here is, is that it's important to get a full thyroid panel done and then get into the investigation of really why the reasons your thyroid is, is, is off and why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I encourage you to visit my website, learn more about functional medicine, how it's different. Uh, if you Google Dr. Hagmeyer and full thyroid panel, look for an article that I wrote titled Six patterns of thyroid disease that don't show up on standard blood work. Very, very important. And this kind of goes through the different um, lab tests that you want to have done. It also explains kind of what's happening and also what are some of the causes behind why that person might be in that particular pattern. So very, very important. Uh, that article will just definitely give you a much better appreciation for why you feel the way you do and what you need to do in order to get your life back and feel good again. We have some great videos coming up. I hope you stay with us um, where we'll be answering your questions about thyroid disease. Take care.